Salamaka Pili. Aloha Pua Ono, happy Saturday. We are about to see some changes in our weather. Kauai continues to see shower activity after their first round last week. Another round that begins today. But if we're taking a peek here in Honolulu for those who are running in the Hapalua Marathon, around 6 a.m. when it's beginning to start, that's when the 60 to 70 showers likely chances starts to begin. Thunderstorms, at least here, isolated. And that threat to thunderstorms looks to be kicking off around noon. And then those high chances of occasional showers will continue for the rest of the day as the system then moves further down towards the east. So we're going to keep our threats slightly elevated but again this is going to be mainly for the west end of the islands and then we'll start to build towards the east as this moves out of the weekend into the new week as the boundary moves down the island chain. So we have a flood watch in effect for Kauai that's going to at least has been issued goes into effect at midnight taking us until Monday morning. We have a small craft advisory till tomorrow evening for the western waters and speaking of our waters we do have some nice fun sized waves especially for the north where we're seeing the highest Kauai four to six tomorrow here three to five here on Oahu two to four for the north shores for Maui County and for Hawaii Island now this system is going to be uh, one again bringing us the chance of isolated thunderstorms and heavy showers at times aside from that will be gusty winds the bulk of the intensity and the bulk of the impact remain towards the north of the state, so we're not going to be expecting anything very significant, especially in terms of isolated or in terms of thunderstorm activity. But as you see behind the boundary, that's when these southerly winds will then start to begin to flow in from the west, and then that will continue uh, for all the other islands. That's where we're going to see that variable conditions, which will then lead to more northerly trade wind flow then to follow. That's what we're looking forward to for the second half of the week, and it looks to be getting back to drier conditions as well taking a quick peek in the seasons here this is a late season storm we have actually been in our Ho'oilo which is our wet season that is actually closing off this month and then we're going to be starting our Kau or a dry season stepping into next month so again this is kind of out of the season in terms of our at least at the tail end of our wet season this storm system will be in terms of the timeline again for Kauai has already begun but the most intense where the boundary will be moving over is around midnight hours into early tomorrow morning moves down to Oa who by especially the boundary by tomorrow afternoon. So again, for those who are running, we could be seeing some of the showers that are associated with the bands in front of the actual cold front boundary. Moving into a Sunday night, it then moves over towards Maui County. And as we get through Monday, it's going to be making its way towards Hawaii Island. But again, all of this is beginning to weaken. So by the time we get to Hawaii Island, that threat of flooding right now isn't really posing too much of the threat. It's for Kauai. And then we'll see in terms of uh, flooding watches for Oahu and Maui County. But in terms of what we can expect by tomorrow afternoon, again, thunderstorms will be greatest for the west and then mostly cloudy skies for the east. Hawaii Island is going to be seeing the driest conditions. Kauai has already begun to see some of that impact and they will continue to do so. Again, the greatest threats with this would be periods of heavy showers and gusty southerly winds as the boundary starts to move down. The good news, trade winds return around Wednesday into Thursday. Have a blessed weekend, everybody.